Hello students, this is Plants and Animals of Southern California, and today I'm going to tell you about the flowering plant life cycle. So, here we have a seed. And that seed is going to germinate. There's the little plant. And that plant grows, makes a big plant. And that plant has on it flowers. Here's a flower. Let's go through the flower parts. So here we have sepals. Those are often green. And then there's petals. Then this whole thing here is a stamen. And the top of the stamen is the part that makes the pollen. It's called an anther. The whole thing in the middle is a gynecium. And the top of that gynecium is the part that receives the pollen. That's the stigma. And then uh, inside of the gynecium, there are ovules. And those eventually will make seed. Okay, so you have a bee fly up. And that uh, bee, hopefully, from the pollen's point of view, removes pollen. So pollen removal. Pollen removal. And then uh, the bee flies off to other flowers. And so we call this process pollination. Not to be confused with seed dispersal or fertilization. So the bee ends up in another flower. And there the bee, the bee deposits pollen. And those two processes, pollen removal and pollen deposition, are called pollination. So now you have a pollen grain on a stigma, and it grows down, 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 down. The pollen uh, that grows down the, the style towards the ovules. And then when it gets to an ovule, that, at that point, it releases its sperm and the sperm fuses with an egg, and that's called fertilization. That's uh, sperm plus egg. OK, so then time goes on, and everything matures. So that uh, ovule plus maybe a little bit of sperm, that turns into a seed. And the gynecium that surrounds it turns into a fruit. So here we have a fruit. And we have a seed, and it's falling on the ground. That falling on the ground, or in the blowing in the wind, or being dispersed by birds, or something like that, that's called primary seed dispersal. So here it is on the ground. There's another one coming out. And here comes an ant. Oh, the ant found the seed. Now the ant's carrying it away. So that's called secondary seed dispersal. And it's primary seed dispersal and secondary seed dispersal that moves the population out, that makes it so that that 
uh, plant population is claiming new ground. Um, now the genes, they're moving both because of seed dispersal and because of uh, pollination, but the population is moving because of seed dispersal. There's the ant goes. And what I wanted to say about this is that it's a cycle. It's like a helix. It repeats itself every generation over and over and over again. Plants are on the move. Well, that's all that I had to say about that.